It was an up day across the board on Wall Street today, and this is the third session in a row that all three major averages closed at a record high. The Dow gained more than 138 points to close at 36,052. The S&P rose to a record high today ahead of a key Federal Reserve decision and gained nearly 17 points to close at 46.30. And the tech-heavy Nasdaq gained more than 53 points to close at 15,649. Well, Yahoo is pulling out of China. The internet giant made the announcement today, citing an increasingly challenging business and legal environment. Yahoo says its services are no longer accessible from mainland China as of November 1st. That was yesterday, which calculating the international dateline means today, as I just said. Yahoo is the second large technology firm to pack up its computers and go home. Last month, LinkedIn unlinked themselves from mainland China. Electric vehicle maker Neuro said today that it has secured $600 million funding from Google, Kroger, and others to continue the development of its driverless delivery vehicles. The company has already made thousands of grocery deliveries for Kroger. They also have deals with Domino's and FedEx. The U.S. Justice Department just filed a lawsuit to block a merger of publishing giants, German publishing conglomerate Bertelsmann and Penguin Random House is already the largest publisher in that country. Bertelsmann wants to spend $2.2 billion to buy Simon & Schuster from Viacom CBS. Among their famous titles are The Blood of Emmett Till, The Pulitzer Prize winning Carry Me Home about the civil rights conflicts in Birmingham, and The Butler, which was turned into a movie. The Department of Justice said the merger would, quote, exert outsized influence over which books are published in the United States and how much money authors are paid for their work.